in the quarterfinals where there are eight teams left, beginning the day with eight teams left. At the end of the day, after Friday, there is going to be six teams left in the tournament. Argentina defeat Netherlands. A day beginning with eight teams in the competition is going to end with six teams left. This is exactly why Argentina are playing the second match. Now, it, it doesn't make sense, right? Brazil played uh, on Monday this week, but 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 they're the first game. Well, Argentina played on uh, Saturday, but but they're the second game. I mean, uh, something's a, a, a little bit off right there. Uh, but needless to say. The nightcap here in Europe, the afternoon game, the lunchtime game here at the States involves Messi. Not only will there be eight teams left and six at the end of the day, but it is Argentina's 86th World Cup match. So a perfect numerical sequence. A lot has been questioned about the referee selection for the match. A uh, not so good of a history between Messi and Antonio Mateo Laos. Messi had a goal that was disallowed in 2014 uh, that prevented Barcelona from winning the championship. Meaning at 30 goal won La Liga the very worst, the very worst of what was reported was uh, involving the crime. The crime in poor taste, in poor taste, this referee it wasn't the fact that he disallowed the Messi goal in 2014 to deny the title. The biggest thing that happened, the, the biggest thing that happened was the fact that he canceled out, he, he gave Messi a yellow card for uh, the Maradona tribute, Messi's first goal after the death of Diego Armando Maradona, his first goal after the death of Diego Armando Maradona. Looks like uh, that is a jersey of uh, Maradona in one of his... Uh, he, pay, he donned this new old, old boy shirt to pay tribute to Diego Maradona. It was a brilliant goal. He painted, pointed to the sky to nod to Diego Maradona right after his death, but uh, Lejos flashed a yellow card to Messi's way. Uh, that is not cool at all. Uh, this was his first goal scored since the death of Diego Maradona. Uh, he is indebted to Argentina. That was such poor taste to give Messi that yellow card for paying a tribute to a great footballing icon. Not just of Argentina, but for all of football. And that is a grand sin that this sticker of the rules, Antonio Mateo, just can't let it slide for once to allow Messi to have a beautiful commemoration to his idol, to a coach of his, the great Diego Armando Maradona. Antonio Mateo Lajos is indebted to Argentina. He must have a very favorable game for the king. He must reverse his prior sins from that day. He owes a debt to Messi into the entirety of Argentina. That is why he is the referee. 
That was a grand sin for giving Messi a yellow for commemorating his hero, the great legendary Diego Armando Maradona, Antonio Mateo Lajos committed grand blasphemy. And he must repay, repay back Argentina for their sins, for his sin, for his sin of that yellow card in such poor taste. Antonio is the match of 88. Argentina will be playing her 88th match in the final. Antonio Mateo Lajos is to match of 210 and 75. The newborn king, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the chosen one risen again. Jamacho 75. You know, 75 prior matches uh, before the final. Uh, Lajos. Lajos is to match 26. He's going to be a referee involving Argentina en route to Argentina playing in Messi's 26 World Cup game in the final. Poland is Dimatria 62 and 26. It's also Diego Maradona that has Dimatria of 62. And it is this referee that that gives him that gets involved with that uh, disgusting uh, yellow card. I mean, it was uh, it, it it was awful. I think uh, I think he's a pretty douchey referee, but <laughs> but it, clearly clearly this is why he's the referee. Because he he, he he owes he owes Argentina for, for that grand center of giving a yellow card for giving a tribute to Diego Maradona. I mean, this is crazy. Uh, this is truly crazy. Uh, this is uh, uh, unacceptable, and he must repay back for his sins. He truly he truly must, and uh, he will. He will. He must reverse the damage. So it's not a conspiracy that he's out to get Argentina. He's, he's here to reverse the prior damage. So not a coincidence. We go from eight teams alive at the beginning of the day to six teams left at the end of the day that are still alive with Argentina winning their 86 match. Uh, that that uh, that doesn't go unnoticed at all. It doesn't. It doesn't. He's going to get the job done. He will. Antonio Mateo Lajos in middle initial is to Monster 64. Argentina will be playing in the 64th match in the final. It just so happens to be that he's the referee along the journey. Antonio Lajos is to Monster of 150 in 66. Vamos Argentina is to Monster 60. Argentina are going to go 6-0-0 and zero and zero to conclude the tournament. Newborn King as Gimachi is 60. Diego Maradona, born in the year 60, died at the age 60. 6-0-0 six and zero and zero to finish the World Cup after losing to Saudi Arabia. That's very significant Gimachia. Very significant Gimachia. The 150, what I like about that... Is that uh, uh, Argentina? Uh, I believe that their 150th goal all time is going to win the World Cup. I think Argentina is going to finish with th 13 goals to win their first World Cup since the 13th World Cup. Now, what do I see happening right here? Uh, is the fact that Argentina have Seven goals, three allowed. And in my view, they can win three nothing against Holland. They're gonna beat their ass tomorrow. It's Argentina by 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 uh, multiple goals. They're gonna beat their ass tomorrow. They're gonna kick their fucking ass tomorrow. Argentina gonna go from seven to ten goals, like Diego Maradona having Jamachi of a hundred seven. Diego Maradona. Hey, uh, Diego Maradona, Jamacho 107. Uh, Messiah is Jamacho 107. Just over 107 weeks after Maradona's death, Argentina win the World Cup. Now, all time in the World Cup, uh, the Netherlands 
Well, Argentina against Netherlands. So, 0 and 4, uh, and then 3 and 5, uh, and then, uh, hold on, okay, oh, hold on. All time goals, Argentina uh, against Netherlands. Argentina lose 0 4, okay, 0 4, then uh, Argentina 3, Netherlands. Five, okay. Uh, Argentina three, Netherlands five, okay. World Cup there. Netherlands scored two more goals, seven. Argentina won four. Uh, Argentina all time in the World Cup are gonna have five goals and seven allowed when five foot seven Messi scores. Give Argentina the one nothing lead. It is uh, Messi has five foot seven. Fifty seven matches will involve uh, Argentina in this World Cup. God turns to match up fifty seven. Dorado, the golden generation. It is a uh, it is a palace. Palacio to match up fifty seven uh, at Lucio Iconic Stadium. Argentina play five out of their seven matches there. What are we talking about with that? It's very clear that 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 this is the stadium of the king. Argentina played five out of their seven road matches there. Group match Saudi Arabia, group match Mexico, uh, you know, quarterfinal, semifinal, final, five of the seven matches there. Messi the Rabbit, number four Chinese Zodiac, wins four out of the five matches in that stadium. It is Palace, that's Jumatra 30. Argentina are going to go 3-0 and at Luceo Iconic Stadium to win the knockouts, the quarterfinal, the semifinal, and the final. I like Lautaro Martinez to score tomorrow. Inter is Demacia 66 and 30. He is an Inter striker. It is Holland that is Demacia 66 and 30. This is the perfect match for Lautaro Martinez to score. Maybe if Dave Rye is playing, he's a former Inter defender, that'd be very appropriate. Ar Argentina, their their goal total, you know, seven three so far would be a. 10 and, and 3, okay, and then maybe 2 to 1 against uh, Brazil. It's 12 4, that's going to be 13 and 4 allowed. Now, knockout wise, Argentina are 2 and 1. Argentina 3 to 1 when Messi scores the first goal. I like 5 to 1 for Argentina by beating Hall in 3 0, then maybe. 2-1 against uh, Brazil, that's 7-2, and guess what? If Argentina win the final 1-0, that's 8-2. That's like the Falklands conflict in the year 82. That's like the 82 days after the Jesuit Order Foundation, day 2, the day of the World Cup final. It's uh, Southgate's 8-2 loss. So I like pure domination right here. The referee owes something back to Lionel Messi in Argentina for his distasteful yellow card. To correct a wrong. That's why it's a referee. You think UEFA would want uh, Messi of Qatari Saint Germain of Qatar owned PSG to not be in the knockouts? There's not a chance. I like three to nothing for Argentina tomorrow. Three to nothing, five goals, one allowed. Ingaterra, Lionel Messi, 51st goal allowed for Netherlands in the knockout. Lionel Messi, Jamachi, 51. It'd be seven goals scored, seven allowed. Argentina against the Netherlands. Pele has scored 77 goals. It's it's Brazil. They, they're going to have 77 World Cup wins when Pele dies. I feel great that this is going to be domination. That this is going to be total domination. Argentina won a group match 6 to nothing, a rigged match against Peru. In 1978, Argentina going six and zero and zero. They, they they needed that to score six goals or whatever in that match to uh, to advance to the final. I can talk more about that, you know, in the final. But it's gonna be a tribute to six and zero and zero for Argentina right here. <coughs> Lucille Iconic Stadium, one and two. Argentina is three to two. Could be uh, could be five to two. Oh, what else we got here? We got the Netherlands gold total. The Netherlands. Netherlands, five goals, one allowed. The Netherlands in scripted fashion connected to the Falklands conflict, eight to two. Could be eight to five after losing to Macias. Macias is to March of 85. Paddy St. Germain is to March of 85. It's going to be domination tomorrow for Argentina.